In this video, our goal is to create a new Laravel project and just get a quick look around what we get whenever we do that. Today we have our browser. Here's our terminal. And here's VS Code. And we're going to be using this for our coding. So let's get started. To create a new Laravel project, you are going to have PHP running. I have Composer installed. And I have the Laravel helper tool installed as well. I should be ready to go. So let's do it. Laravel new, and then you give your your project a name at this point. We're going to make a blog for fun. And this is going to end up being a folder within the current folder that you're in. And so I already have this folder open here in VS Code. It hasn't created that subfolder yet, but whenever that process gets started, and there it is, it has now created that folder. If we go back to our terminal, this is going to run for a while. Could be less than a minute for you, could be several minutes for you. I'm just going to pause the video at this point and we'll pick it up when it's done. Our application is now ready. We can get started. It has downloaded a lot of stuff. So let's go take a look. Over here, we have our files open up blog this is where our application is this is all the stuff that Maravel has already created for us I'm not going to run through all of it today what you should do if you're going to learn Laravel is you should really get used to the official Laravel documentation I've got it here and if you go to laravel.com documentation getting started directory structure, you will get a rundown of all of these directories that we have here. Bootstrap, config, app, bootstrap, config, and so forth. And so it's worth your time to go ahead and read through here, even if you are not sure exactly how all of this is going to work. It's totally fine. It's best to just go ahead and get a, you know, the big picture of where all of this stuff is. Now, let's run through some important stuff. First of all, Composer JSON. The Composer JSON has the PHP packages that are installed, like for example, Laravel framework right here, and various other things. Now, I did not purposely install any of this except for Laravel itself. This just comes as a part of it. And so that's why all of these are here. Uh, there will be times where you will need to, to look into here. Okay. So now that we've got that, let's actually run something. Because right now we've created some PHP stuff, but nothing has been run. So if I look at what we've got here, here's that blog directory. I've got some other files that are just for me that I've got hidden in the other view. You could ignore them. So I'm going to go into CD into blog and see where we are and hit PHP artisan. PHP Artisan is a command line interface included in Laravel that allows you to run commands. A lot of these are helper commands, like for example, making commands or making controllers and whatnot. You'll use this for database things. You will use this for caching. We will use this for making custom commands, and all sorts of things. And so the, our first use of the PHP Artisan is to say PHP Artisan serve. What this will do is this will run the PHP site that we just created on port 8000 by default. You can specify different ports if you want to. Now, if you just have this running on your computer, all you have to do at this point is open a browser, go to port 8000. I have to do something a little bit different just because I am running this in Docker. And so I'm just changing one of the host settings. And so now, if I go to port 8000, I will see the, the site that was generated for us. So here it is. 
our next goal is to figure out, okay, if this is how we run the site, how do we change this? Where does this stuff come from? Let's take away some of this magic. So back here to our code. Whenever a request comes into Laravel, it comes in to a path. We happen to be going to the root of the website, but it is still a path. So how do you deal with paths and routing things? Well, that is actually in the routes. So if you find the folder called routes web, we will see route get, and here's our root, welcome. So this right here is what returns this. Well, how does it return this? Because this is a whole lot of stuff. Well, this right here is actually a, a lookup to a view. So view, welcome. So where's that? That is in resources, views, welcome. So this is all of that HTML. Let's change something. I'm going to go to the very bottom. If we look here at build, we can see this is the output here. Change that. I've saved the file. I'm going to go refresh. And there we go. You can also see down here in the terminal window, which I placed so we could see it and the browser window at the same time, that whenever you request a page from your site, you will actually see the terminal window doing a little activity. Now, if we go back here and kill the site, we will find that now, of course, this doesn't run. Of course, that's what we should expect, but just doing it to show that this is how this works. Now that we started this back up, we can now view it. And here we are, of course, with our, with our change still here. So that's the basics. You have the Laravel site, there's a routing file, and there's a view. Just to push it a little bit further, let's create one new route and one new view. So back to our web routes file, and so this is in routes, inside our blog, in routes, in web. Let's create a new one. We're going to return a view, but we're going to call it a map. Save this. Let's go back, refresh. Everything's good. Go to about. Everything should not be good. Because we created a route for it, but view about not found. So what do we do? Well, we need to create a view. So new file, about.blade.php. Blade is like the templating language. We aren't going to really mess with that yet. It will be very important later. Let's create a very simple HTML file. Now it's not going to have any of the styling of the previous page, but you see the point. You have paths, either your root path or your about path. These paths map or get mapped to other code by routes. All right. What code? Well, this maps the about route to this block of code, whatever happens in this function. This routes the root to whatever happens in this function. So if you've created your own site, play around. Add another route or two. Add another view or two. Play around and get a little feel of this.